every graphic designer's dream is to work on some sort of sporting event that has the scope and scale that this does and the piece de resistance is the metal design. We created something that feels like a chunk of ice and it's very angular. It almost, from a profile, looks like a mountain ridge line as well. So we wanted to work with Alfred University to create part of the metals out of recycled glass. And we wanted to make sure that the spirit of the games was incorporated into the metal design through the color, through the artwork looking like something that could have been plucked out of uh, the Adirondacks themselves. We're very fortunate here in our unit to receive funding from the Department of Environmental Conservation for a large glass recycling project where we're really trying to target the challenge that material recovery facilities in New York State have with glass products and identify many value-added sinks for those. We're the New York State College of Ceramics is an incredibly unique entity that combines a school of art and design, schools library, and an engineering group that has deep uh, focus in glass and ceramics work. So being able to cross those disciplines and have the creativity and amazing uh, design coming from the art department combined with the technical and glass science expertise in engineering creates this amazing collaborative opportunity and we can't wait to see the finished product. Glass has been called mankind's most important material. The reason for that is that you can develop so many different products and uh, processes from glass. Uh, glass also can be almost infinitely recycled. So in today's world, uh, where we're interested in sustainability, uh, glass is uh, a great material for that. Each gold, silver, and bronze has its own unique gold, silver, bronze, metal, and then this glass inlay is placed within each one of those. And the glass will have an iridescent quality to it. To get the luminescence, we have a combination of three different rare earth elements. These are colorless under normal lighting, but if you shine a UV light on them, they will turn orange, red, and yellow, and we use a combination of those to get the appropriate orange to shine through the copper blue. And we went through a lot of vendors who said, the design that you're creating is too ambitious. There's no way we can do this. It's going to be too expensive. It's not going to be done in time. And so by working with Alfred University and Capital Gifts and Awards, we were really able to find partners who said, absolutely, we can do this. It's going to be a challenge, but that's part of the fun. And so it was great to kind of have them be as excited as we were to take on this challenge.